Hey, it's Michael Quinn here. I'm on 74th and 1st, Upper East Side. We're here to try to help save a local favorite, the Good Health Cafe. Let's do it. Hey, Bill. How are you doing today? To Likewise. A absolutely. So tell me about your Good Health Cafe. How long it's been here for? Uh, it's been about uh, 30 years. It's mm -hmm. been uh, in the city for 30 years on the Upper East Side. Mm -hmm. uh, started off on 86th Street mm -hmm. on 2nd Avenue. Uh, so then, uh, the original owners relocated uh, to uh, 74th and 1st Avenue. Um, I'm actually the third third generation owner of Good Health Cafe. Um, I bought it during the middle of the pandemic, uh, back of back in May of 2020. So ever since that, then uh, I've been uh, operating. That's a menu. I see a lot of vegan options, gluten free. You know, it's just it's just like it's very heavy on that. Yeah, so basically, you know, our, our goal is to have every, every customer come in and enjoy healthy, good quality food. Uh, so, you know, I was looking at the original menu. The, the, the menu has a variety of uh, infused cuisines from different uh, ethnicities, so to speak, uh, from Asia, from uh, South America, uh, Italian, there's Italian food. Um, so what we did was we integrated all all these cuisines into a healthier um, healthier uh, style of food for the consumers. Well, so. I'm Naomi Semenik. I'm a resident of the Upper East Side, and I know the Upper East Side like the inside and outs of my hands. And I've been going to Billy. He's my best friend, I might say, and. Um, I was going to the Candle Cafe before I discovered this little gem. And this little gem has the um, very favorite things I like for by being a vegan. And they have vegan food. And I always loved places with vegan food because they're health conscious. Now what's some of the challenges you've been facing recently? Uh, so there's been a lot of challenges, you know, uh, I think you know, it started from uh, the pandemic, you know, uh, there was an exodus of people uh, within the area that left and uh, that decreased uh, our revenue or from uh, generating revenue on a daily basis. Um, we also had an, uh, a huge issue with challenge rather with uh, Omicron. Uh, during Omicron, uh, back in December of 2021, uh, sales just plummeted. And uh, that's when I became really concerned, worried about the um, uh, the future of this this cafe. Um, I'm just looking for some sort of help. Mm -hmm. What do you need in the short term, as far as immediate assistance I, I and think, support? Uh, I th I really think uh, the rent, right? So the rent is the vitality of making sure the business still stays alive without paying the rent, can't stay open. Um, and I'm looking to obtain at least $25,000 um, either in donations or even just having people come in and order more food. Um, without that, um, I think within weeks we'll be closed. Uh, well, I want to try some of your food. Oh, okay. I'm going to try some and support you guys today and definitely get the word out. We'll get some of you workers in here to uh, hopefully the ones that left will come back. But if not, we'll get you some new fans. I appreciate yeah. that so much. Thank yeah. you so much. So what do you got for me in the kitchen? I want to try it. Absolutely, I have this great dish. It's an appetizer. Uh, a lot of people have been buying and asking for it. Uh, it's it's trendy. Uh, we have our cauliflower tacos, which I definitely want you to try. Let's do it. So the first thing that we do, we take the we um, bread the cauliflowers, uh, and then we dip it in the fryer. We let it fry for about three to five minutes until brown. Now we grill the tortillas, the gluten-free tortillas, for about two or three minutes on each side. Let that sit for a little bit. A really popular, it's very, very famous. It's been around since 1992. Uh, it's our tofu blueberry cheesecake. Wow. Uh, it's, it's been around uh, for, I think, over 30 years. I think I see it right here. It's, wow. it, um, yeah. The, uh, the original owners are actually Vietnamese. I think they took that recipe from their country, their homeland country. Really? Wow. And uh, so I, you know, I started modifying the, uh, 
the uh, desserts and uh, started adding certain things like nutmeg, mm -hmm. cinnamon, agave, which yeah. is very, very healthy. It's an alternate um, uh, healthy option as far yeah. as sugar. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, uh, it's been it's been a great uh, source of revenue. People love. I think we're the only place in Manhattan that has. Uh, Blueberry, blueberry cheesecake, apple fall cheesecake that is not cooked. Not cooked, wow. Yeah, so yeah, it was fantastic. Made, so after three or four minutes, we, uh, we take it out. We let it sit for about another 30 seconds so you get all the oil out. And then we we cut, we chop it up very fine. Nice. And then we uh, add it to the top. Of Would you say this is one of your more popular items on the menu? Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. We don't use eggs of any sort, any dairy products. We use basically, essentially, uh, gluten-free flour and basically water, H2O, wow. instead of using the uh, traditional eggs and milk. So we add shredded carrots, mm -hmm. shredded red cabbage, mm -hmm. give it some color, a little bit of pico de gallo. We use homemade dairy-free sriracha. Wow. Oh, you thank you so much. I can't Enjoy wait to it. bite into this. Wow. This is incredible. All gluten-free. Yes, sir. Right? Vegan. Vegan. I'm not really a vegan type of guy, but I think <laughs> I'm going to love this anyway. Thanks so much, Bill, for this. This is great. You're very welcome. It's like a lesson in, in vegan culinary uh, delights here. I love it. So listen, Good Health Cafe, the GoFundMe. Make sure you check it out. Good order delivery from Grubhub. And stop by here. Try some of these delights. Look at this. Cheesecake. But it's tofu, blueberry, vegan, gluten-free, cauliflower tacos. It's great. Check it out.